Hi, this is Edwin Tembo, and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple Microsoft Excel report using data from an Oracle database. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create the report template uh, such as this. This is just a simple sheet with a, uh, a, a refresh button that actually has a macro that will just simply refresh the data from the database uh, whenever it's clicked. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a connection to the database and how we do that is by going to the data tab, clicking on from other sources, and uh, selecting the data connection wizard. Uh, once that comes up, we're going to go ahead and select other slash advanced. And in the next uh, screen, we're going to select Microsoft OLADB provider for Oracle. Hit OK and it's going to ask you for your database login information. Basically your username, your password and uh, your host name uh, right where it says server there. Okay I'm going to go ahead and enter that. So after you've uh, connected to the database you're going to get a pop-up that's going to show all the objects in your database that you can transfer to this uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet and uh, unfortunately there's really there doesn't seem to be a way rather to uh, search for one particular object so uh, you're just gonna have to scroll down to find that, that particular object that you're looking for uh, in this case I created a view to uh, manipulate data from several tables within the database it's simply just a view showing average salary based on uh, uh, based on each particular location. Okay, uh, let's see, I should be able to scroll down to it fairly easily here, and there it is. I'm going to hit next, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And this is just a pop up telling me that I already have this connection, so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And I have the option to create a table, a pivot table report of a chart and, and uh, just to create a connection to the database without actually getting any data from it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a table. Okay and as you can see it's just a simple table that's showing the department name, the city, and the average salary in that particular city for that particular department. Okay alright so that's how you get connected. The next thing I want to show you is how you can use this uh, somewhat dynamically without going through all those other steps uh, if there are any changes to the database. So as you can see there we have uh, our departments ending at row number 33. Now suppose we needed to make some cuts in the business uh, or you know some departments weren't necessary anymore uh, we'll assume that some front-end process is uh, gonna take care of that and I've gone ahead and written the SQL code to go ahead and delete those departments from the departments table which is part of the uh, the view with the data that we're showing in our Excel spreadsheet Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and run that uh, that SQL code. As you can see, those three departments were deleted. I'm going to go ahead and commit the transaction. Okay, transaction committed. And when I come back and hit refresh, those departments should disappear from the sheet. So here we go. Okay, and as you can see, now we have our departments ending at number at row number 30 as opposed to number 33 before. Uh, you could simply save the spreadsheet and you can share it with end users uh, anywhere in your organization and you should be able to update it uh, with, up, uh, with updates from the database as long as uh, you can connect this particular spreadsheet to the database. Typically you need to be on the same machine to do that. Okay. That concludes this video, and if you need any assistance with uh, simple or complex reports such as these, contact me.
at the link provided below.